This is the essence of community outreach. Convoy of Hope, an annual event that brings a soulful message of inspiration and a truckload of necessities to local residents who need it. Today, we are having a demonstration of God's love. We have 75 churches and organizations partnering together so that we can help people. Convoy of Hope is an organization that is based in Missouri that comes alongside of the local churches and empowers the local churches. It trains the local churches and it releases volunteers from the local churches to do what you see us doing right here. For the past 18 years, the faith-based organization has volunteers dispatching truckloads of food, clothing, shoes, and other items to families and individuals who are in need. The number of unemployed and families who go without a meal is on the rise. 46 million Americans in this country are living in poverty, according to the Census Bureau. This is the highest number in more than 50 years. Convoy of Hope is on the front lines fighting poverty. Volunteers will distribute over 30,000 pounds of food and goods to local residents. In this community, there's, it's a large population of people that are unemployed, underemployed. We've got single moms, families that are struggling, and we just want to offer them a day of celebration. What we're aiming for here is to serve about 8,000 families. We have two sites this year. So here at Mitchell Field, we're going to serve 8,000 families. About four th Of the 8,000 guests, about 4,000 of those will be children alone. At our Campbell Park site, it's a much smaller site, but we decided to do a venue right in the middle of the project. So people that don't have cars, they don't have the transportation, they'll go there. They're serving about 2,000 guests. So we're talking about, we're aiming at about 10,000 guests this year. The event fosters connections between the families in need, the government agencies, the local churches, and various outreach groups that will provide short-term solutions with hopefully long-term positive results. Our mission is to give new and lovingly worn shoes to needy Long Islanders. We're here today at the Convoy of Hope because we help Long Islanders. It's a great event to actually outreach to the neighborhood and our community to get shoes. Today we have over 3,000 pairs of new shoes to give away to the local community. A shoe is a basic necessity and we feel that everybody deserves to have that basic necessity. And many of our local community residents don't have that basic need. So today we partnered with Convoy of Hope to make this happen, to bring shoes to needy Long Islanders. We want to demonstrate God's love in a very tangible way. They're going to go to a community tent and in the community tent they're going to find all kinds of community services. And then they're going to go to the haircutting tent and if they need a haircut, they're going to get a free haircut. Then they're going to go to the portrait tent and they're going to get a family portrait because a lot of folks can't afford to get family portraits. And in our medical service tent, we have doctors and we've got ophthalmologists and we've got dentists and we've got all kinds of medical people being able to help with medical services. Councilman Jim Darcy supports the community lending a helping hand to a neighbor. This is what we as a society need more of. People coming together to help people. Every aspect of our society coming together. Churches, charities, government, everybody saying, you know what, we've got problems in the world. The only way we're going to fix them is for all of us to pull together. So let's start doing it. John Lennon had a line that I, I love to use. Life is what happens while we're busy making plans. Today's an occasion for us to be able to stop and say, hey, this is what really matters. All of us pulling together to help one another with whatever problems we're facing. Volunteers like David Evans from Missouri spreads the message of faith, love, and hope. Well, I love the, the ministry of helping the poor and the needy. Um, it's just a way of, of patting the poor and needy, patting them on the back and say we love you and we're here to help you and hopefully give them a little hope. Other than making yourself feel good, there's people who are hurting and those people need hope and, and you got to be the change you want to see. You have to let people know there's more to life than drugs and, and living in darkness. There's, there's a savior who loves you and people just need to not be ashamed to be the leaders. You got to stand up and lead if you're called to lead, you know? Sometimes people need a hug. Sometimes they need somebody to look straight in their face and say it's going to be okay. And sometimes people need prayer. And all the time, people need people. That's why we do what we do. For more on ways you can donate your time or provide a financial contribution, go to convoyofhope.com. For Push Pause in Hempstead, this is Stephanie Brumsey. I'm not